chimes. Just heard the neighborhood donkey. Dogs barking in the poor distance. Slight breeze. Wind bell. She says you don't have any excuse now. I in the mail the other day. And uh, I just took them I just took them nuts off of there. I had I had I had assembled it in. When I went ready to put that, when I went, uh, I was going to put this pin down in here, and uh, you know I don't know how to call this video. You know what I mean? Is it the working worker, the American worker? I think not. It's the American company because this little thing right here, I done bought it the other day. Got it here the next day. Made down there in Tennessee, somewhere up around La Grange, I think. So, it's a Tennessee-made product. Steel product comes from China. You know, these things here, I'm not sure where they come, size or anything. But immediately when I got it, I was going to bolt this thing together. And, and when I put that in there, it's, i show you. When, when I put that in there, it's, it's, it's more than an eighth of an inch too big. So I goes down there to the store and I get these washers and this is the closest I could get to this size took it with me and they're about a sixteenth of an inch too big so that's only half the distance but you know I figured I'd minimize it the best I can so I put them on there put this on here and, and I went ahead with them's grade 8 uh, it's, it's overkill but you know I don't want to do this but once that's the thing about that's the reason I bought this thing. You can buy it. I give you a tip. You can buy this thing cheaper than you can buy the materials if you just buy in a small quantity. I'm just saying. But I was bolting all this thing together. And, and when I went and got them washers there, I got these pins because none of them didn't come with it. Them pins did. And when I went to put it in there, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't go. So I took the file and was a filing on it right there and I was thinking, you know, that ain't good. You know what I mean? That's not good at all. Then this is American made product. Tennessee. Well, it's Mississippi, somewhere down in there. It, a couple of flaws on it immediately. The way it mounts up here on them drawbars. The the corners right here are extremely sharp. When they sheared that metal off right there, it left some unbelievable sharp corners right there. And even right up here on the top right there, it's dangerously sharp. And over here is a match to that one. So, I'm going to take the grinder to it immediately. Because, you know, that right there, that's a shin getter. Uh, because that comes back like that. Let's see. Uh, uh, this right here goes towards the tractor like this way. This is to the back. Your trailer hitch goes in there, two inch receiver. I poked that in right there, it's your normal fit. But one of the other, one of the other immediately problem I seen with this is this square tubing right here is open in the top and it don't have no hole in it. So if you leave this on the tractor, you, you, you're gonna be sitting there with this thing full of water after it rains on it a couple times. And oh, you could you could breed, breed breed millions of mosquitoes out of that hole right there. It never would evaporate. Just go stinky on you. So you know they drilled a hole in the side there for that, or punched it probably. They should have drilled a single hole right there in the bottom of that, so that there'd be no standing water in there. I'm just I'm just I'm just adding it would have been. I would have felt good about it. But even to the point. You know, I guess I am complaining, but I ain't, you know, I know, I, I, this is what I expected I would get when I ordered it, so I was not surprised. But if you look down in there, when the drill bit went through there, it left a gigantic big old shaving down in there. It, it's dangerous I'm talking about, and, uh, and that's the kind of person that normally, that's, that's the person that would normally buy this this thing here is the person that ain't got no welding machine or don't want to do this kind of work. They just want to use their tractor. 
Okay, they, they, they wouldn't know about that burr right there. You know what I mean? If it's, well, it needs to be out of there. That's all I'm saying about that. But there's several sharp corners on it. That, you know, it, it will take some hand work on it. And as I was thinking about that, the, 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 the person that was doing the welding on, on this right here, I'm sure they had it in a jig of some nature and, and you know, just welded it up like it is, send it on down the line. So, you know, that's all a welder's going to do. He ain't going to, he ain't going to, he, a welder's not going to drag out no uh, uh, hand grinder, I mean, in a factory setting. You know what I mean? That, that, that conveyor belt's moving, you know, you've got to grind, I mean, you've got to uh, weld and go, you know. So, even though it looks bad, I mean, you see a flaw, uh, you, you, that, that's not your job, you can't do that. And, and in the end, the way it came out, that's nobody's job. Um, you say, well, they'd have to hire a man on a grinder, you know, to do some hand work right there, finishing. And that may be true, but, but I, I, would, I would submit this thought for analyzation. At any time, in a small factory setting, there's one person in there that's not doing anything. Guarantee you, most time it's two of them talking. With this cell phone deal here, you know, my now it's three. It's not unusual to go into a business and there'd be three people in there on their, on their cell phones watching YouTube videos. I'm just saying it's the way it is. So, but uh, the, the point being made is, you know, the company could could designate somebody to do that and, and like these pins right here don't fit and this is off the shelf at the local tractor thing down there and you know they should drop right in there but there's a burr down in there you can see it okay if I round out that, that with a file to get this in there or run a drill bit in there to get that in there then what I'm doing is removing that plating these things is have some kind of plating which is supposed to keep it from rusting. And um, but but the hose the hose ain't right. Want him, it, it, it attempts to go in. It's, it's supposed to be this size. But yeah, and the thing of it is, <coughs> is it the pin oversize or is it the hole undersized? Because it almost goes through. You know, it, it's one of them. But, but, you know, a, a regular user of this right here, you know, they would have a drill press and could put, a, put a drill bit in there or a file, you know, get it going. Uh, I'm, uh, that's possible, but you shouldn't have to do it. When, when you get this thing, you should be able to put it right on there and be happy with it. But, you know, with, with this, uh, the possibility of a uh, skin, shin, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock it. Like, like we did that other thing there a couple of days ago. That's their draw bar play. But, you know, I mean, you, you can think about it and all that kind of stuff, or either you can get it done.
Okay, we're going to dress that up with this uh, that there worn out flap, flap wheel I used the other time. And we'll uh, I was thinking as I was doing I, I would recommend you to buy this thing um, you know it's a decent enough uh, you know I think I'll put a hole in it uh, right down there a drill hole a very small hole maybe eighth of an inch for a drain and uh, it won't weaken it uh, any at all but I'll put a little primer on there and I'll paint that got that rusty metal primer on there Slightly breezy day, it's dry, not too long. Wind chimes, two of them tied off. I'll set them free in a moment. Uh, that's that sunrise red right there. You know, I was just thinking, would you ever shaking that paint right there, boy? I'm just a shaking it, you know, I was just thinking, you know, some days. You're the shaker, and some days you're the painter. Put that in there in the shed till tomorrow. Wind chimes in the breeze. Our plane overhead. Here in Middle Tennessee, all is well. Chop the dogs out. Good thing. It means it's a drive. 